Well, we do have quite a few storms across the state right now, and in some other areas, it's just raining. In some spots, it's raining pretty heavily. Taking a look at what's happening across the state again, we have some scattered thunderstorms in northern Colorado, and then also all the way down to the south. We'll also have some lightning down in parts of Telluride. So zooming on into our foothills and into northern Colorado from Walden through Estes Park, even down towards Idaho Springs, where we had a stronger line of thunderstorms roll through earlier. There's also been a little bit of rain and even some snow in some of those higher elevations. Here in the Denver area for us on the south and east side of town, we have a little bit heavier pocket of rain that's developing, a little bit of hail near Parker as well. But for the most part, just a few sprinkles have rolled through. Also a little uh, more cloud cover rolling through, which actually has been pretty helpful for us. And then heading towards the southern part of the state, this is where we have some bigger thunderstorms right now near Springfield, near Campo, and also near Lamar and Eads and uh, close to parts of Kansas. We also have some stronger storms really along I-25 from Pueblo all the way down towards Trinidad and El Paso County. We've had some flooding as well. And taking a look, we have one severe thunderstorm warning that's in place. This is near Pueblo right now, and they've been seeing some really large hail, quarter-sized hail, along with winds at 60 miles an hour. Some of these storms are near the threshold of severe warning, but they're not quite there. But it is pretty active in our south and eastern corner of the state. So our severe thunderstorm outlook for today, it really is the kind of the southern and northern, or really all this one-third, kind of one-fourth of the state here. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty big area. Some of these storms could still continue into the evening hours. So looking at our future cast, we did have this cold front that came through today, and with that comes some cooler temperatures, but still triggering some of those storms. So by six or by eight o'clock tonight, so most of this should be off to our east, but still very active into the southeastern corner of the state well into the evening. By 10, 11 o'clock at night, still may be a chance of some storms across the Denver area, but overnight tonight, these skies should clear. And by tomorrow morning, you're waking up to more sunshine once again, and it will be a little warmer tomorrow, so there may be increased storm chances as well. By 2 o'clock, could start to get a little bit more rain that fires up, and then in the afternoon and evening, those storms could potentially turn severe once again, and we could even still have some rain and thunderstorms in Denver through 10 o'clock at night. So here's our severe thunderstorm outlook for tomorrow. Covers more parts of the high country and the foothills, eastern plains, maybe the northeastern corner and far eastern plains. You may get a bit of a break, but there is another round possible tomorrow and maybe again on Thursday before we start to dry out. Right now, 75 in Denver and Lyman, 79 out in Burlington, 72 in Avon, 92 in Grand Junction. Earlier today, 78 degrees out at DIA, 77 in Denver downtown. Average is 79, so pretty much near that. Tonight, we're looking at the 50s across the front range, 40s in the high country. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer, 80 here in Denver, 81 in Greeley, 70s in the mountains. And for your five-day forecast, stormy weather possible through Thursday, oh, oh. although storm chances do go down quite a bit on Thursday. And then we are hot and sunny yeah. through the weekend. Ooh, that looks